In a historic move for the U.S., the FCC passed net neutrality rules today. Without getting too technical, the internet can now be regulated by the government as a utility, which means that internet service providers can't limit internet usage to the extent they used to. It's a complicated issue, but should be the death of speed throttling. The next Fable game will be free to play. Taking a cue from League of Legends, Fable Legends will offer characters, quests, and storylines for free. So here's how it works. They'll first offer a group of heroes for free, then after a couple of weeks, they'll rotate in a new group of free heroes. Your progress with the old heroes will be kept, but you'll have to wait for another rotation to see them again. That is, unless you pay to keep them with in-game money or real money. You'll also be able to buy customizations, or if you're playing as a bad guy, additional enemies and traps. Of course, you'll need an Xbox Live Gold membership to play it on Xbox One, but the game will also sync with the PC version, so you don't have to choose. Let us know what you think of the free-to-play model in the comments below. Get ready for the Yetis! Ubisoft announced the Yeti add-on pack for Far Cry 4 will be released on March 10th, 2015. That's soon approaching. And yes, I totally said Yeti add-on pack. The DLC is a new story bit involving the Himalayans, a cult, and, well, you know, Yetis. Valley of the Yetis will be available as part of the Far Cry 4 Season Pass, or you can buy it separately. Sony unveiled their Spring Fever lineup of indie games, and it's crazy good. From March 3rd to April 21st, one new game will be released on the PSN, namely Helldivers, Hotline Miami 2, Jamestown Plus, Metal Slug 3, Axiom Verge, Bastion, Titan Souls, and drumroll please, Shovel Knight. PS Plus members will also get a 10% discount on these games during the week of their launch, and all of the games except Jamestown Plus will be crossed by with the Vita. Check the full listing on IGN for more details. The end is in sight for Final Fantasy XV. In an interview with IGN, the director of the game, Hajime Tabata, said the team is about 60% done with the game. This may sound a little weird because last September, he said that they were 55% done. However, don't worry. According to Tabata, some things had to be developed first so they could get the demo out faster and show the public what they're working on. Now that that's done, development should go much faster. Fingers crossed. You'll be able to see the full interview on IGN later this week. A new Mario has gone gold, sort of? Nintendo confirmed rumors of a golden Mario Amiibo. For the US, it will be a Walmart exclusive and come out on March 20th, the same day as Mario Party 10. Hmm, what a coincidence. Given how super rare some Amiibos have been, you might want to start lining up now. It's sold out on the website in a few minutes. And that's your Daily Fix for February 26th. I'm Naomi Kyle, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.